And we're live! Hello, uh, ladies, gentlemen, and non-binary pals! How is everyone doing today? It's Zake here! Yes, I know I haven't posted videos in a while, but uh, one is coming. We're gonna be roasting the Stormcloaks, which we'll roast them here as well. And I have my uh, co-host here, um, Connor, yes, introduce yourself. Yes, as per usual, I am here. Yes. <clears throat> Not in one piece, but here. <laughs> yeah, I apo we yeah. apologize for not being present for uh, for uh, for so long, because I know everyone had their own issues. <laughs> Either Connor yeah, has a problem, a... or I have a problem. Yes, go ahead. <laughs> it's been a it's been a, a bit of a hectic start to the year, but. You know, got to power through it. Yes. Hold on, let me post the... Let me post the cast everywhere so people can uh, join in and uh, enjoy our ramblings. Wouldn't you agree? Huh. I don't know if they're going to enjoy them, but I, hopefully it's entertaining at the very least. Yes. But welcome, welcome. Um, where is uh, the channel? Announcements at everyone. You, you can also post on the uh, of the uh, general's chat if you want, Connor. All right, that's that's the first thing. <laughs> the second thing I'm going to we, we can start discussing like the um, the quest lines already. We can start with companions and Connor. You can actually talk about it if you want while I uh, begin to. Uh, what's it called? Uh, well, I, like, do something behind the scenes really quickly. Alright. Uh, okay, so the Companions is the Skyrim version of the Fighters Guild questline, except not anywhere near as entertaining. Um, it starts off with... Entertaining is a either... strong word. Yeah, well... Um, you start the quest by helping kill a giant, or don't help kill the giant, and go to the companions and join anyway. Uh, <clears throat> it starts with mostly thug jobs. Like, just mm. go over here and protect this thing, or go get that thing from a dungeon. So, a bunch of fetch is, quests. Yeah, a bunch of fetch quests. Not great. Not unique. They're totally random quests that, that have no story tie-in whatsoever. Also, you have the Silver Hand that's, like, basically, like... I know, the Fighters Guild in Oblivion was great, like, with their rings that, like, were, like... Uh... Like, the, the villains there, I think it was the the Black Tree Company or whatever it was. Yeah, uh, the Black... Yeah, the Black something company. Yeah, they were good, because they also, like, what's it called? they had these rings, so they won't divulge information, they were just, like... I don't know, uh... Unalive themselves, basically. It was kind of fun. There, like, it, it, there was some story there. But no, the companions do not have any story. Their whole were werewolf thing doesn't even, like, make sense to me at all. They criticize me for everything. And they're not even good warriors. They're just, like, mid. Yeah. How would you rank them? The companion's quest in general, or each companion? No, the companion quest in general. You see it's on your... Uh, oh, easily D. D, 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 D. I would almost go for F, but you know what? Let's do D. Yeah. Uh, We're least... doing D. Where The fact that they force you to become a werewolf or be permanently locked out of the quest is absolute shite. Someone, it, says, it, it, it. someone says... uh, What's it called? Uh, someone says companions deserve F. 
Someone says you guys were uh, you guys were three years old when this awesome game came out. No, we're not, we're not. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We're not. We're not saying Skyrim is bad. We're reviewing the the quest lines. Also, we were not three I've years old. I put many, 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 many hundreds of hours into Skyrim. Also, yeah, I was seventeen when it came out. I was sixteen. No, 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 I haven't even turned 16. All oh, right, yeah, I was 16, I was 16, yes, I didn't turn 16. Anyhow, uh, without doxing, yeah, doxing our what shots, if, go ahead, yes. Yeah, what What? What if I'm playing a Paladin of Stendar, and I I just want to join, a, like, a fighter's guild to go out and help people and take on contracts, and then I'm presented with this, this dilemma. Either I become a werewolf which may or may not be incredibly against my character idea or i don't finish this quest ever yes so it's like anything that takes away the agency of the player to go a different path is usually not going to be a good quest <clears throat> i agree Someone says, a werewolf. A, a werewolf. Ah. I see what you punned there. Yes. Yeah, that's probably all there really is to say about the companions. I mean, it's pretty lackluster. It's not that... It's not that... Gripping. Um... Yeah, yep. it's just it's not it's not well written. It's not well written. Although it did give us a fan theory that I I personally enjoy that the silver hand is actually the remnants of the original companions oh. who did not agree to be turned into werewolves, and so is trying to purge the werewolves so that they can retake the companions as a proper and honorable <clears throat> thing to be a part of. So there's no in-game lore that actually says that that's what it is, but. As far as the arguments I've heard, I would say it's definitely plausible. So, um, what would you say in regards to Emil Pagliarulo's quest direction for this quest? I think he messed up here. I think he could have done... Like, I know he could do better. You could, you could see it in Oblivion. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, Oblivion had very solid quest lines. The Mages Guild quest line was a little bit of a slog, to be fair. But, <clears throat> you know... You can't always have excitement after excitement after excitement. Sometimes yeah. you just gotta do mundane shit for the job you're in. You dropped the S word. No, anyhow, we're good for now. Yes. I don't. I don't think YouTube's gonna care about that one. I think they care about more politically charged, more hard. Yeah. Anyhow. Um. Let us so, go ahead. Yeah. yeah, I think I think that's it that I have to say on the companions. The but, main takeaway: do not force a character to become a monster in order to complete a quest line. Don't yeah. do it. So um, that's one. That's one thing. Also, I I just feel like uh, was a cop. There was not enough effort put in this quest. It's like it's basically the Avatar: The Last Airbender Netflix TV show versus like the original cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> That's the difference between the Fighters Guild and the... Yeah. It? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I have a few thoughts on that. I might I might air them out on Twitch because I'm mad. I might actually like go full on uh, live on Twitch later today and like after this and just like bash the show completely. <laughs> Alright. No, because I, I need to get that steam out, man. Anyhow. Moving on. Daedric Quests. Ooh, Daedric Quests. Um, compared to everything else, uh, so there were some quests that I did not like in the Daedric Quests, so I cannot, like, rank them that high, but the Shigorath Quest, I feel like it was one of my favorites, the, the Mind of Madness. Uh, Man, there was so much more they had planned for that, and they cut the content. Yes. What do yeah, you guys like think? Yeah, like a whole secret, like, dollhouse inside. Like, like they blocked it off with terrain, but if you t if you TCL, 
you can fly through the trees, and eventually there's just a door floating, and when you enter it, you're in a giant house. Yeah, they like could you're, have... you're the size of a mouse. And it was inspired like... by Alice in Wonderland, and it yeah. actually was a good... No, it was actually a good inspiration, and not like... We're not gonna get to the Couch of Winterhold yet, just yet. That's, that's for I... last, because I'll be... Yeah, really... I don't know why... I do not understand why they cut that content because genu it, I'm genuinely curious as to what the quest was going to be. Yeah, me as well. Yeah, someone, someone else. Anyway, date. You okay. see the, the chat. Uh, are you keeping track of the chat? People are saying Shigurat was fun too, but they cut the content. That's Lonely Ocean says it kind of makes sense for the College of Winterhold not to be super in depth faction based on Skyrim Lord's general disdain of magic. Yeah, that I mean that's fair, but also, why don't they conjure up a hammer and fix the dang bridge? Yes, it's been like a hundred years. Uh, I I I have seen magic that can do that. Why have they not? <laughs> All right, so we have the so what other Daedric quest? I'm putting was... Daedric. Oh yeah, so I guess we could go through each of them. So we got the Shagorath quest, <clears throat> the Mind of Madness. Honestly, if it was by itself, I would put it almost in S tier. But it's not yeah, by it's, itself. Yeah, it's, it's solid. Um, the the Sanguine quest, not as unique as Oblivion's, but I did actually kind of enjoy, you know, get blackout drunk, wake up in a temple, yeah. and now you have to find clues as to what you did. Yes, inspired by the hangover. That's very creative. Inspired it's by so, the hangover. Yeah, it... it it, it, it sends you on fetch quests, but it makes it feel real because they're like, oh yeah, you were here last night and you did this. And then that gives you more of a reason to be like, oh, huh, I wonder what like what, what happened to that. I better go check. As opposed mm -hmm. to just, hey, I left my sword in random dungeon. Can you please go get it? Yeah, that's much better. Also, like, the fact that you, like, end up in the Sanguine Quest married to a... Uh, what was it called? A Hagraven, that was also kind of funny. Yeah. Yeah, but but are you seeing the trend here? Um, when did the Alice in Wonderland movie come out? 2011, right? Around that time. The live action with Depp? Yes. I think so. Let's see. Uh, 2010, yeah. When did the ha Hangover come out? Uh... Uh, 2009. Aha! Uh Aha! -huh. Uh -huh. When did Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows come out? Uh, I think 2011? Yeah, part one was in 10 and part two was in 11. Aha! Uh -huh. Are you are you seeing the trends? Are you seeing the trend, Connor? I I am certainly I, I I am definitely not knowing what you're talking about right Dude, now. Dude, this is a Frankenstein. Okay, okay, yes, the writing prowess. Emil Pagnarua was one step ahead of these guys. He's such a genius writer. <laughs> Such an absolute genius that he knew that he need he came up with all these plot lines, right? And like they basically yeah. although all everyone, Harry Potter, How to Train Your Dragon. Um My favorite movie series, by the way, in case anybody wanted to know, How to Train Your Dragon, top tier, loved it. Even had to write uh even in college I had to write a paper uh <clears throat> about popular media that um portrayed uh, a more accepting outlook on things, so I chose uh, why How to Train Your Dragon is actually kind of a feminist film. Oh, nice. Yeah, I mean, you've got the weak, timid male character, the very strong-willed, uh, kick-butt kick uh, female character love interest, and, like... It's very, it's like very clearly like, oh no, the hero of this story is not a manly Viking who's got mu rippling muscles and punches things to death. Hello, Zenobia. 
yes, uh, yeah, the, the, I agree. That's 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 totally fair. Yeah, but, yeah, but I digress. So, Where this is a thing about Elder Scrolls, not not. <laughs> no, no, no. But you see, you see, even Pagdaru was so far ahead that he put the Hangover, the Harry Potter, the uh, what's it called? The Hangover, the Harry Potter plotline, the How to Train Your Dragon plotline, the Alice in Wonderland plotlines, around the same time when all these movies came out. You see, these guys, they're all ripped off Emil Pagliarulo's writings from Skyrim. <laughs> right? Even before Skyrim existed, they peered into his mind and like looked into these plot lines and made a bill million hundred million dollar movies with them it's totally not the fact that Skyrim's a frankenstein of different trends of the time right right Connor? yeah i mean it, it can't be that he simply drew quote unquote uh inspiration from some of the most wildly popular movies of the time. I'm Inspiration. Not, what, what are you implying, Zeke? What are you implying? Inspiration, yes. Let's call it that. Inspiration. Right? Quote marks. Inspiration. Yeah, 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 yeah specifically. Inspiration. All right. So what, what other quest lines are there? The Parrot uh, was okay. Periite's quest line was, yeah, okay. It was a little interesting because you got to fight an enemy that has acid breath weapon, which is in po poison breath weapon, which is interesting. Not that acid, you, you, uh, fiends in the chat. I know what you were thinking. I don't have a problem. You have a. Pro I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yes. Uh, acid breath was cool. What else? Uh, let's see. Uh, no, that was pretty much it. It was just interesting because you got NPC or uh, uh, enemies that were that you don't find in any other area. All right. That's Perry. I believe the app. You sacrifice a companion. That's it. Yeah, but am I supposed to be line impressed? Is pretty underwhelming. Moab I mean, Bao, like, uh, I mean, the Haunted House was cool, but the payoff was, eh. you just killed the yeah, guy, and that's it. And there was no way to, like, side with the the follower of Boethia. Like, I wish, I wish that they had given you an option to be like, actually, I um I uh, helped out Boethia like three days ago. I'm gonna betray you, Molag Ball, and just like do something like that. But instead, it's like, nah. You either fin you either finish the quest as as he wanted you to, or you don't finish the quest at all. And it's like, ugh, really? <clears throat> I mean, Trimark doesn't give a crap because Trimark is crap. <laughs> Someone <laughs> lonely ocean. Yeah, the the bo. Yeah, the Malakath quest was also kind of meh. meh. What um, else? Let's see. Azura's quest was interesting. Not nothing special, but no at least you got to see what it's like inside the the Azura's star artifact. Namira's um, quest was om nom nom. Meh. Again, also. interesting. Interesting. Uh, same basic mechanics as a fetch quest, though. Go and get this priest of Arke and bring him back. And it's like. Okay. What else? Meridia's quest and Downbreaker was okay. Yeah, that that, that was a decent quest. Um, let's let's say it how it is. Meridia's quest it is is it sucks simply for one reason and one reason only. Oh God! That stupid freaking orb. A new a hand, new hand touches, touches the, the beacon. beacon. Oh God! That stuff still haunts my nightmares. <laughs> no. <laughs> I like the I like the meme when people were like crying when they like got the yes. J almost right. just for that quest I'm I'm just tempted to put an F tier, but I'm gonna refrain from that. Who else? Uh Moloch Ball, I understand we already discussed him. Mirun's Dagon's <laughs> quest. I like the Oblivion callback to that. Yeah, again, interesting. Um, fetch quest. J just another fetch quest. Just a generic fetch quest. The NPCs aren't even that interesting. Do you remember the Mephala quest? 
Uh, Mafala was the, yeah, the blade where you have to, that one was good. Again, cut content. He was supposed to be, there was supposed to be more to the Jarl, Jarl, that, that child of Jarl Balgruf, but they cut most of that out. Yeah, they did. Um, but it still was interesting to have to kind of like puzzle your way in there. And then, you know, you get the sword and you got to go kill people. To level it up, which is interesting. Yes. What's up, Matthew? Hey, how? Uh, what else was there? Um, yeah, that's what could have been a good good quest line with Mafala. Namira. Yeah, Nocturnal was just tied. With, oh, the Nocturnal. Yeah, you couldn't even do Nocturnal. There, there, there is no Nocturnal Daedric quest because no. it was completely subsumed by the the, Th the Thieves Guild. Yes, yes. All right, Fred, Barbus and Clavicus Wild. That was a good quest. Yeah, that was pretty good. It gave the the player some moral quandary. Yes. What else? Uh, who else are we missing? We d discussed Malakath. I think that's everyone, right? Yeah, I think so. Who else was there? Uh, let's Any see. other let me, let me go There are there are eight spokes in the wheel, which means there are what nine. Sixteen. Oh, did we, we didn't talk about Malakath. <clears throat> we did. It's the cursed tribe. Oh, we did we covered that. I don't remember. No, no. Well, okay. what, did you, what did you think of the cursed tribe? We didn't discuss it. We just said. It I was thought it was actually. I did actually thought it was decent. It was kind of intriguing. Um, you know, you pick up the you, you go in and they're like, oh god, Malakath hates us, and then you find out the chief is a scaredy cat baby boy that, that can't even do his own stuff. And then you go kill the giant and he's like, now I'm going to kill you, which doesn't even make sense because if I was an NPC in that area and I watched someone take down a giant, I would not then try to threaten to kill them because they just took down a giant. <laughs> like what am, what am I going to be able to do to you? That's going to hit you. If you just took down a giant. Yeah, we already on your own. <laughs> someone says Mirun. We already discussed Mirun and the mythic dam and like the the Mirun's razor is a pretty good weapon that could kill Alduin even, which is like ironic. Like because he was the villain from the previous what's it called the game from Oblivion, and like yeah. the the previous villain's artifact can kill. Um, okay, let's see. We we have so we've done Azura, Mafala, Boethia, the best three Daedric princes ever. Deagorath, Malakath, Periite. Yes. Nocturnal. Yes. Namira. Yes. Sanguine. Yes. Oh, Hersene. Hersene's quest is just Hersene's quest is just the same quest from Oblivion, except it's a werewolf you're hunting. Like yes. I, like, oh, yeah, Oblivion's like, oh, go slay the, la the last unicorn that's currently in Tamriel. I mean, it, the okay. build-up was great. The build-up to the quest was great, but... Yeah, the backstory of, um... I forget his name. The the werewolf that you meet in prison. That was a decent backstory. It was not, it was not terrible. Oh, yeah, Vermina... It, it was intriguing. And, you know, I guess the fact that they bothered to program in the Blood Moon inside the grotto that you go in completely changing the lighting and everything. That was pretty cool. Yeah, we were forgetting Verme Vermina and Hermes Mora. Vermina was just the dreams. They, you go... Like, that had an interesting mechanic, at least, that, that you were literally going back in time and yes, it did. Piloting, piloting someone else's body. That's pretty cool. That was amazing, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's the pretty cool. I, I would give that one a solid 8 out of 10, actually. It's not very exciting, but it's got a lot of weird, like, oh, you know, I, you can just teleport back in time with your consciousness and attach it to somebody else's body. Yes. And it's like, huh, I have several questions. We need to, like, make a more detailed, like, at some point, podcast on the data quests, but we can't for now. So, Hermes Mora, what do you think? Uh... We'll discuss more, impressed. more with the Dragonborn DLC because it's Hermes Mora's 
Daedric quest isn't that like you you just go around getting the blood of a bunch of different types of elves. No, and then you oh, open... I think all races, not just one myrrh, right? I don't remember. I think it was just myrrh. No, it's just myrrh. I see. Um, but again, fetch quest, just a fetch quest, just any body that is a, an elf, uh... you can take the blood of, and it's like. So I don't have any specific targets. I can just run up to a bandit camp and do it all in one go. Yeah, you can do that. Like it's okay. So I know they got. I think like, why even make it? Why even make it a, a quest? If your if your conditions for the quest are literally any elf ever, then you've just like there's no point in even doing it. Yeah. That, that would be that's so easy to do. You can get it done in like 15 minutes. You just go to three or four banded outposts, they're gonna have all of a variety, and you're, you're gonna get all the blood, and then you're just gonna go back, like... Tell them all why, why even? Tell them all why Streak would like to know your location. Yeah. <laughs> Tell them all why Streak uh, has logged into chat. Yeah, so, um... You know, I... And I, then... If they got wrecked, who are we missing? I don't think we're missing anything, and that's all. I think yeah i think uh i think yeah yeah i think that's it so i would rate the daedric pr uh, quests overall as a b yeah i agree i don't think they quite reach a tier they have some really good ones in there hello Tommy. um but overall i'm going with a b yes so they represent uh skyrim quests pretty well like it's a mixed bag if you think Emil Pagliaru should have done better, please like, subscribe, and write in the chat below. Like, smash that like button as much as you can, and if you're gracious enough, donate. We're gonna address his, um, uh, Twitter... Breakdown? We're gonna address his, his Twitter thing. His soon. pride fueled rant on a website that no one takes seriously already yeah we're gonna we're gonna like basically keep that as the last treat if you know what i'm saying all right uh then we have the dark brotherhood which so full disclosure the oblivion dark brotherhood was made by emil pagliaro it's he was actually the lead writer on that one well, at least we know that he does have some writing capacity. Because I would argue that... Even though it has mistakes the, there. I would argue that the Dark Brotherhood uh, should go in A tier in total. Um, I think it, it was... He, he, he tried to emulate Oblivion's... Well, thank you, best. Ulysses the Pagan. Uh, thank you so much. I, I'm glad that you think we're criminally underrated. Ah, oh, that's so nice to hear. As, as an Atheopagan myself. Hi, welcome. <clears throat> All right. Um, uh, so, yeah, he, he tried to recreate the, here's how you can, you know, uh, kill the, the cousin of the emperor, uh, in a lot of different ways. You know, if you talk to the people, one of them will tell you the gargoyle, one of them will tell you, oh, I left you a bow and some poison on the roof. Yes. And, um, I think that's, uh, I think it's really clever. Um, the problem is it then just kind of, they, they, the whole, uh, uh, what, what is his name? Um, the the four dog the the guy that voiced four dog but he Nazim no Nazir what Nazir he gives out those I miss go Kirk kill Bright these three too. people I miss Kirk Bright too Ulysses yeah I'm pretty sure everybody does yeah um, yeah go kill the I mean they do have lore but they don't have that much lore behind them like why did they just like Skip, like, oh yeah, figure it out by yourself. And I mean, some some people's style, but they were kind of half-baked, you know? Yeah. Yeah, the whole Nazir contracts, you're right. They were kind of like BS. Yeah, and this whole... Yes, I'm going to repeat this. The Dark Brotherhood... Emil just ripped off the Dark Brotherhood 
from um that's the thing cops he just ripped it off from his old he self plagiarized that's the thing by the way self plagiarism from oblivion put some stuff in into uh the dark brotherhoods uh, the, the dark brotherhood in skyrim Ah, uh, Ulysses the Pagan, absolutely, my man. I am, I am one hundred percent for bringing back faction requirements. Yeah, Cicero is a good character. Some characters. Cicero... Why? Why is my, you know, level thirty barbarian who knows absolutely nothing about magic allowed to become the archmage? Like, why? <laughs> the why? Lord and Wahim, though is now the archmage. Yeah, exactly. Of yeah, it's like why. Well, why are you allowed to do that? The Nord and Wahimbo. Uh, imagine like going to the Archmage, it's like, Oh, great Archmage! Please, I would like your wisdom! And the Archmage goes like, Oonga Boonga. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, like, I shall tell you the most, the most powerful spell of all, your fist. Or like, I'm Goblin Slayer. <laughs> Goblins. Huh. Goblins! Anyhow, the Dark um, Brotherhood uh, questline. Yes, Cicero is a good character. But oh, yeah, that Cicero is a good is character. Great. Everyone else? No. Yeah. And also, um, it doesn't make sense what these characters do. Cicero leaves the Night Mother with, uh, with Astrid and all the heretics. Ast the, the whole Dark Brotherhood is Astrid Sim Club. They're, they're supposed to be smart people. But they can't see that Astrid is basically like a dictator, and kind of it kind of sucks. What else is there is like, oh, well, it it really wants to go into the C tier for some reason. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um. Uh, um. The um. How did they even drag the dragon board to that shack? Like, imagine dragging the most the the like at level one hundred. They didn't do anything to like what's it called? To Aventus Arantino's request, but once the Dragonborn like kills Grell of the kind, uh, which is a good, which is a funny quest, by the way. I'm not gonna lie, but it doesn't make sense that imagine like after that just drags you into a shack, like the hero of old, and you get dragged into a freaking shack. Yeah, doesn't make any sense. All right. Tell us, uh, Babette is, a cre is creepy doll material. Yes. Yeah. Uh, the um the Babette was maybe not a good idea. <laughs> uh, in re in ret <coughs> in retrospect. <laughs> Did you see the meme? That, uh... Did you see the meme that I sent you? The Babette is not <laughs> Babette is not uh, is not off limit starter pack. <laughs> it's just uh, so yeah. horrible. Yeah, I'm like, no, it's... no. <laughs> Wash would like yeah. to know your location. Yeah, exactly. Uh. <clears throat> um, I, overall, I'd give the Dark Brotherhood an A. It's probably the a? best faction quest. Yeah, I think so. It's got more good than it does bad. I give it a B. Chat. Chat. Vote on this. A or B. Who wins? Connor or Zake? I say it has a lot of potholes, and Emil basically really dropped the bucket on this one, and it sucks. I think it's B tier or maybe even C tier. Uh, Connor, you think it's A, right? I think it's A tier. It's a low A. It's a low A, but I do think it's A tier overall, at least in the context of all of the other quest lines we're looking at. <clears throat> I mean, if we're talking just like objectively. <clears throat> I mean, all of these quest lines are C or below. Like, I mean, we're not, none the... of them, in my opinion, are are that good. But in context of, of Skyrim, you're saying it's an A, right? In context with Skyrim, I'd say it's an A. I say it's a B. So, um, all right, last vote. I see more Bs in the chat than I see As or Cs. So yeah, I see two Bs. So smack see, that right in the B. Bs. Smack so... that B in the B. Smack that, I'm on the floor. Smack. <laughs> oh, God. I, I can't. Oh, yeah, that's a lot of bees. That's a lot of bees. Okay. Yeah, fine, fine, fine. We got the bee. Uh, I, it, yes, Actually, 
I agree. Hagen, I, I, I actually, I heard a new theory about that. There is a theory running around recently that the Dark Brotherhood from Morrowind is actually Mythic Dawn agents in disguise. Because their lore in Morrowind does, like, the, their role in Morrowind doesn't make any sense when you consider the lore of the Dark Brotherhood. Oh. So now people are starting to wonder, like, maybe, like, they're actually just the Mythic Dawn preparing for Oblivion and going around and, like, claiming they're the Dark Brotherhood so that, you know, they, they can... You know, let's put, this, let's put this theory on our channel. That's not a bad idea. All right, we can add it to the list. Because I don't I, think it's plausible. I think what it, what the reality is is that they hadn't fleshed out the Dark Brotherhood until Oblivion. Yeah, and where Emil came in to flesh it out. So you know, he's actually. Probably... Have you played this Thief series by any chance? No. He was a he was a writer on that. Really. No, uh, Zenobia, I mean, I mean, the Dark Brotherhood is l from Morrowind, like the Dark Brotherhood in Morrowind, not the Morag Tong, the, the Dark, Dark Brotherhood, Brotherhood that gets yes. added in the DLC, tri the Tribunal DLC. <clears throat> There's a theory that they're actually Mythic Dawn agents in disguise, uh, attempting to cause mischief for the, um... <clears throat> For the Empire in order to help take it down. Someone says you should play the original three, at least first one, to define the genre. Yeah. Yes, I know, Jay. <clears throat> it's hard, though. I gotta get you. Ugh. I have a list of things that I want to do, but I can't. <laughs> if I had, if I, if I actually, if, right. If you want, if you want us to watch and play everything that you, that like is out there, that's the dream. I'm not gonna lie, that is the dream. So to support the dream, please like, <laughs> like, share, subscribe, comment, and donate if you if you are financially able to, right? Because Aye. that's when we and can yeah, play. Yeah, pagan. We that's can play true, everything. That is huge with retcon. Yes, they do. They do sure love to retcon. <clears throat> yes, they do. Hold on. All right, next one. All right, I'm trying to like hide this uh, save or download button. All right, good. We're good now. All right. So what is next up? Dawn Guard, it looks like. Yes, Dawn Guard. Dawn Guard was interesting. I don't know that I would say it was like particularly amazing, but it certainly wasn't boring. There, there were. There were a lot of cool areas to explore. Um, the, yes. the the veiled sanctum, I think, or or what, whatever the that snowy area was. That was really neat. Um, yeah, like the dungeon was a little confusing, even after having been playing Skyrim for ten years. When I do that quest, I still get lost in the in the cave system that leads you to the priest of. Uh, Oriel. <clears throat> Hello, J Victory. Yes, it has been a while. Uh, J Victory was actually like the first person who appeared on this channel, even before, uh, like, was uh, I actually? So you know how we start the channel started. This is just a fun fact about the channel. I tried to prove Ooh. to J Victory that like YouTube is a pipe dream, and then we just started getting views. Huh. And that's how it began. Anyhow, nice. Uh, um, let us. Uh, so, what's going on with Dawnguard? Oh, I'd say Dawnguard is uh, is is decent. Um, not not super. Uh, not su like not super unique, but pretty unique. So I don't like the I don't like Is Isron or like Downguard itself. I do like the boy card vampires a little bit, even though Harkin is an idiot. And I do like our travels with Serana. Yeah, like it made me feel less lonely, honestly. Like because Serana had some Serana was a very fleshed out character. 
Every, every uh, yeah, other, she was. Every other character yeah. was like one one dimensional. Serana, though, was a standout, and I think people still praise Serana to these days. Yeah, some people find her annoying. Uh, some people find her annoying. And like a lot of it is actually yeah. fetch quests. And some I, people, some of those people are named Connor. Where? The ones that find it annoying. You find Serana annoying. I do. I'm not. I'm not a fan of her character. No, you, you should. You should do that Joker line. It's like which one? Which one? I. Uh, it's like so. You find Serana annoying. I do, and I. Uh, <laughs> and I. I'm. I don't want. To, I. I want to stop pretending that she's not. Yeah, Serana's pretty annoying, I, I, in my opinion. I mean, I get why people like her. She, she you know, she's kind of cool, but I don't know about. Oh, I don't know about B tier. That. <laughs> if you if you download mods that allow you to marry Serana S tier, have you guys not been paying attention to the channel where like Serana literally roasts you? She roasts you. But by, by the way, um, I'm gonna be right back. Let me activate the music again. It died. Anyhow, music is back on. Uh, but like, All right. have you missed the part where, uh, where like Serana literally, um, oops, Serana like literally was like berating people for their marriage mods. I'm personally, I think Serana. It doesn't make sense to marry Serana. It just does not. Lore wise, just because you guys been through a lot together, that doesn't mean trauma bonding in that specific case is good. I'm kind of against yeah. that personally. Yeah, yeah I haven't fair. really played like uh, Skyrim on here in a while because because of the mods is dead. I'm waiting for for it to update one last time so my mods don't break. That's when I'm gonna start playing it again. Otherwise, I'm not playing Skyrim until it's fixed. It's broken uh, as heck <clears throat> right now. Like Bethesda keeps breaking. Bethesda keeps breaking Skyrim. Just so you know. Uh, yeah. Anyhow, that's the. Uh... Anyhow, D uh, Dungard. What do you think of Israel's uh -huh. character? Israel's character is just kind of a no. I don't. I don't really like it. No. All right. So C or D. Um, I'm gonna go with C. All right. I'm also agreeing with C. But let's see what chat thinks. Chat. <coughs> C or D for Downguard. Oh, we're getting out. People are saying it's a good C. Yeah, I think it's a C. I don't think it's as bad as a D. Oh, that's a little, that's a little harsh. Oh boy. So, what do you think of Emil Paglaru's writing direction here? Man, am I um, am I not right? But is is Skyrim just aging poorly? Yeah, it does seem like that. All right, so how many C's? We have more C's, so it's a C. <coughs> All right, Dragonborn. Um, oh, you mean the, I'm actually... the actual Hermes Mora quest? Correct. I'm giving that one at least an A, I'll tell you that right now. Ooh. It is pretty good. Oh, listen, there were a bunch of callbacks on Solstheim. The the side quests on Solstheim, it, it it felt you know real like yes yes they were good I don't know it it, it I, and it could be the nostalgia of seeing Solstheim again but well, also in, like in meeting Skyrim, all the Morwen but... characters yes that was good Nelloth and everybody else oh that's another reason Dawnguard sucks they they soul trapped Saint Geob like are you kidding me. You serious? You serious? Yeah, they did. 
You gonna do that shit? Yeah, what else about the Dragonborn? Um, I do think how... I do like the mystery and everything. I don't like the Mirage, the final fight, and the Apoc Apocrypha. I don't like Apocrypha. But everything else about it is pretty good in my opinion, yes. Yeah, Apocrypha was annoying. But everything else, pretty unique plot lines. And a uh, lot also, of callbacks to Morrowind. Also, you get to go to, uh, what's it called, the Fort Frostma. And fight uh, the uh, the guy the guy in charge of Fort Frostma. Um, yeah, Captain something or other. Fox Crassius or whatever. Yeah. No, that was a good quest in my opinion. Um, and and since it's part of Morrowind, of course it's honors the sixth house and travel more. Yeah. Right. I mean, that's got to give it points too. Yes, it's honors the sixth house and travel more. You, which you can do too by smashing the like button, chatting, donating, and uh, sharing, and everything, and all, all so on and so forth. Alright. So, where did we rank the Dragonborn? I'm going A. I'm gonna go A. I'm also gonna go A unless the chat disagrees. Chat! Give us a good reason why Dragonborn shouldn't be in A. Oh. No, chat does not disagree so far. Oh my lord. Alright, looks like it's A. Yeah, Congrats. new content and new map. Yeah, yeah. Nice. All right, what about the Imperial Legion, Mongrel Dog of the Empire's Imperial Legion side? Civil well, War Quest, which we'll have a video on discussing. Well, I'm gonna the the Imperial the Imperial side of the quest is less interesting than the Stormcloak side, which isn't saying much because the Stormcloak side is also absolutely terrible. You know but what? at least the Stormcloak one, it kind of gives you some... Their opening quests are more aligned to their story. You know, Galmar walks up to you, he's like, Oh, you want to join the the the, 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 the Stormcloak, say? Well... So, by the way, I, wanna, I, wanna, uh, I want to like ask to chat the question of everyone else. So as my viewer, Connor, former, I mean, view, viewer, current viewer and, like, host. Also, everyone else that's, like, in the, uh, in the chat. Which one of you, like, I feel like most of the channel has anti-imperial sentiment. <laughs> well. Who, like, am I correct at assuming that? Who likes the Nords, Empire in the chat? Li listen, listen, listen. Nords may be Enwas, but at least they're not Imperial <clears throat> dogs. Yes. No, listen. I, it's as far as I'm concerned, the Nords just want their home country to rule over. They ain't gonna, they ain't gonna come to Morrowind here and mess with our Lord and, and Savior Dagothar. They're just gonna they're gonna take over Skyrim, and then they're just gonna be like, haha, we're a state now. And then about ten years later, they'll be under the rule of the Thalmor because they killed most of their men in the battle. Oh, we do have some Imperial supporters here, too. The, the Empire did nothing wrong for long-term situation. Yes. Uh... You Imperial dogs. Oh my god, yeah, Imperial so... Imperial mongrels have entered the chat. That's it. I'm gonna start banning people. Ban, ban, ban. No. Hey, no. <laughs> um, okay. We here at the house of the uh, of the the tribe unmourned, we do not associate with imperial mongrels. <laughs> um, dig up Ur is the Morrowind stormcloaks. Change my mind. <laughs> <laughs> You're not right. wrong, actually. Yeah, I know. I know I was wrong. Okay, all right. Um, yeah, the Imperial Quest kind of sucked. But, like, I don't want to know your Myers Briggs test. I want to know Empire or the Stormcloaks? Battleborn or Grey Name? 
<laughs> well, a as far as <clears throat> as far as the quest lines, the Stormcloaks is better. As far as like who you should jo uh, join if you really want to help Skyrim, you. <clears throat> You're going to need to join the Imperials, because if Ulfric wins, Skyrim will be overrun in, like, a matter of years. <clears throat> but the Red Guards resisted on their own. Yeah, the Red Guards also had a lot more martial prowess than the Nords. Red Guards are... A Red Guard would easily be able to, to smack down a well-trained Nord. Like, Red Guards are the epitome of the fighter class... <laughs> oh! Nords are more barbarian, and in a fight against a fighter versus a barbarian, the fighter usually wins because he actually thinks about what he's going to do. Hmm. <clears throat> Good point. But it doesn't change the fact that Imperials are an F. Well, I guess a quest line. Everyone, do you agree F tier? F tier for... Imperial, I'm not taking any sides here, I'm just saying the quest line for the Civil War just sucked in general. Yeah. I would say so. I mean, they tried at the last war, it didn't work. Red Guard is plus, Nords plus the Empire equals Dead Thalmor, but no. Okay, so, chat, what do you think? F tier? I mean, I'll give it to you. That's probably an F tier. Someone says I D maybe would have put tier. it in D. I may have put it in D, but but honestly, if the Stormcloaks is a better quest line by a slight margin, then there's, yeah, there's I think in reality, here, in my opinion, I I, I re in reality, I think it's an F. F. Everyone's typing F in Mule the chat. Stone, uh, Stone Tona says, this is a hard one. Yeah, I agree. It, it is hard to figure out whether it should be given a D or an F. Yeah, I like how the chat is active today. Thank you, guys. This is amazing. Yeah, this is great. All right, well, it looks like most people say F. All right. F for Emil Pagliarulo's quest direction failed here miserably. Oh, also, this deserves below F. You know why? Why? There's no Please cohesion! There's no cohesion almost. There's only one change. If you get rid of the Emperor, if you assassinate the Emperor of the Dark Brotherhood, it's it's like, it just changes from instead of like, long live the Emperor, to the long live the Emperor, instead of like, long live Emperor Tolius or whatever. You should not have been allowed to enter the service of the Empire if you freaking... Assassinating got rid of the Emperor. It's like letting the Mythic Dawn, Dawn assassin yeah. <laughs> into the Imperial Legion. Like, yeah, there's it, no cohesion. The killing of the Emperor should have had a massive effect on the Civil War. I mean, when a bunch of troops find out their Emperor is just dead now, they're gonna have, they're gonna be like, oh god, you know what? They're gonna be weakened. They're gonna be in a bad state of mind. Yeah, I'm sorry but for yelling, this, but they don't even they don't even they don't even reference it until the very end when he's just like long live the empire instead instead of long live the emperor. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's like imagine like you know it's not that hard to make by the way. In Morrowind, like there was cohesion. In Oblivion, there was some cohesion there. Like if one quest affected the other. Like if you like joined one faction, you can't join the other. In Morrowind, right? I'm like going crazy. That was the case, right? Yeah. Yeah, if you pissed off one faction too much because of another faction's thing, you, you could get banned from the faction entirely. Yes! And, like, I I don't know, like, you, like imagine, like, to totally is just like, oh, like, yeah, we almost executed you, but no, <laughs> we forgive you, you can join the Legion. Oh, yeah, we almost executed you, then you went on to the, the, join the Dark Brotherhood and you killed the Emperor, Oh, but you still can join to fight against the Stormcloaks. Yes, you're totally like helping the, helping the Empire. I'm like, man, this is so bad. Like, it's terrible. Like, that's what I do not like about him. Like about Emil. Like, okay, the guys. Okay, I actually like seem the the uh, the guy is actually not a bad guy. It seems like like as a family man, as a person, like he actually seems like pretty chill. Like, 
It's someone you can drink coffee with. But his art, it's like, it's the first time when the artist is, is okay, but the art is horrible. You know? <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, but his art is not off limits. It sucks. It sucks. Like, how... Like, how does it even make sense to you, like, Connor? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I don't know. I mean, yeah, it's just, it's not great. It's not no. great. Oh, and speaking of not great, the main quest! Ha! <laughs> <laughs> No! Uh, oh, Imagine Dragons! I guess we had to get this one eventually. Imagine Dragons! How to Train Your Dragon! Kill Pratsunax! Yes! Wonderful! Amazing! Amazing writing! S tier! No, no. This does not belong in S tier. This does not belong uh, in yeah, A tier or B tier. It doesn't belong anywhere on this list. Okay, okay, let's let's break this down, Connor. Let us break this this madness down. So how does this begin? Alright, oh, that's the other thing. Like you begin as a prisoner of the Empire. Like you do everywhere. But, yeah. But and you have a civil war raging, and you're getting executed with the other side of the civil war. Like, so, as a 16-year-old kid who doesn't understand nuance, Empire, Stormcloak, or anything like that, who do you think I sided with? Probably like, Stormcloaks, right? Yes, why? Not, I don't understand the nuance, which is a lot of the Stormcloaks, but why exactly is that? Let's look at well, the psychology of this whole thing. Yeah, the, because... Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. All right, wouldn't you be angry if someone tried to execute you and then go like, oh, can you, you, you we, we tried to execute you, but we want you to join you. Like, imagine if it was like some, I don't know, uh, three-letter organization that tried to do that to you, and then you were like, and then they're like, hey, you can join us. Huh. What would you do? No. <laughs> Probably not. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> like honestly, before it like before like Skyrim came out, like they said that there's a war between the Imperials and the Stormcloaks, and you know what? I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna side with the Imperials. Even as a kid, I was like, when I was preparing for Skyrim to come out, I'm gonna side with the Imperials because I like the Empire. We always served the Empire, and war wise, it would make sense, right? And then they pulled this this thing where like they tried to like execute you with the Stormcloaks with the Stormcloaks and Ulfric. Of all people. Yeah. How does that even make sense? I don't know, man. It's... <sighs> I'm so, sorry, but this is a rant. Well, that's what the channel's for. <clears throat> yes, in all games you start as a prisoner of the Empire, but the Empire is not killing you! They don't like you, but they're not killing you! Here, the Empire tried to actively execute you. Like, yeah, it, they literally were like, ah. <clears throat> no, imagine he's not if on the was, list. What do we do? Ah, just kill him anyway. Imagine if it was like, like, hey, he's not on the list, and they like decide to spare you and go like. So you know what? It would have been. It would have been uh, interesting if like you could choose Stormcloak or Empire like in that moment. If they ask you, we want to ask you a question. Who do you side with? Throne Cloaks or the Empire? If it's like the Empire, they don't execute you, I'll do an attacks. Okay. Which we will discuss the I'll do an attacks thing. If if you decide with Throne Cloaks, they try to execute you, but uh, what happens was... What happens is, like, I'll do an attacks and you're saved and you go with Raloff. But if you side with the Empire, you go with Hardware. You don't get to choose when, when Mayhem breaks loose to who you go with. I think it was done very poorly. Also, Alduin just appeared and, like, saved the Dragonborn from dying. Connor, don't you think yeah. that would have... Okay, I took some creative writing classes. I'm no, by no ways a good writer, but... 
Wouldn't it have made more sense if, uh, what's it called, this would have been excusable, like, uh, what's it called, we wouldn't have been saying, oh yeah, Alduin saved the Dragonborn's life if the Dragonborn wasn't up for execution. Like, for example, if you sided with the Empire, they don't execute you, and Alduin attacks, they would be like, aha, uh -huh. so the, dra uh, the Alduin came to look for the Dragonborn and something like that. Here it's like, like nope, nope, I'm just gonna fly here. Blind and like yeah. not know that the dragonborn's here. Whoop de doo! I I'm the world eater. Oh man. <laughs> Anyhow, what's your? No, what's I don't have I don't have anything to add to that. You, you you pretty much nailed it on the head. Yeah. So what do you think? What's going on with Alduin? Um, I heard a theory that he he was he was sensing the soul of the dragonborn and thought it may have been a dragon and so went to see and then saw no dragon so Alduin did what Alduin does and destroy everything. Yes, meet math is like I smash this Helgen. Yeah, and, and yeah. also dragons is such a boring concept, man. Like it was kind of disappointing. Like, Look, it wouldn't have been it wouldn't have been boring if it had been the emperor returning from Akavir. Oh yes, yes, that's, on that's, that's, that's that good, would have been epic. That would have been amazing. Like if it was like Emperor, like if Emperor Uriel the Seventh the Fifth was the villain. If you know what I'm saying. Yeah. That would have been a great villain, and like he could have teamed up with Ak with. Oh, he could have actually teamed up with Alduin because Alduin is like the Akatosh or whatever. Yeah, he's uh, an aspect of Akatosh. Yeah, and who does the Empire? Who's the main god of the Empire? Ah, Los. Well, Akatosh, but and probably Talos, Talos technically. <laughs> Praise Talos! Yes. Someone says, Alduin Smath! Alduin yeah, sure do. Uh, by the way, I'm just he, parent. He loves. Yeah, he loves to do that. Wolfric is also Wolfric Smash. <clears throat> All right, so what else? We also have the blades and Delphine. What do you think of them? Uh, they suck. They're the worst. Yeah, it's like oh yeah, kill uh, a, a, throw, a throwaway quest line that that. That hard locks if you refuse to kill the one character that's actually redeemable in this fucking. I'm sorry, in this uh, in this game, you just you just oh k kill Parthenax and then yes. you'll get access to our 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 faction. Oh great, what what can you do? Um, you can grab up to four characters that have good relations with you and create a new dragon. Uh, uh, Hunting honor party. Guard. Okay. Even though well, dragons are friendly what, now, for the most part. Uh, yeah, and it's like, well, what do I, what do we do after that? Nothing. That's it. Yeah, I was so disappointed. Like, oh. like it's it's a little bit better if you like the blaze just like the dragonborn just wiped them out of existence and like created his own thing. Yeah. It sucks. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Yeah, it's not it's not a great one. Yeah. All right, let's talk about the Stormcloaks next since we said so much about it. So, um, my we do my that, choice would be D. No, so D for the main quest. Correct. My choice is F. I think uh, it's yeah? horrible. I think uh, like they completely dropped the ball on this one. Um, really? the Thalmor don't make any sense here. Like, the Thalmor as villain should have made, like, they tried to do multiple things at once. And failed at most of them. Except, in my opinion, uh, Part Tunax. Sovereign Guard to an extent. <laughs> and, uh, what else was there? Um, the Thalmor Embassy was fun. Everything was else was horrible, in my opinion. What do you think? Right. Like, yeah, no, I agree. Like I, I just, I think, I think it had a little bit of good, but mostly bad. All right, chat. What do you guys think? D or F? D. 
D or F, folks? Ooh. I see a lot of D's. <clears throat> Some people are saying D for dragon. So Ming was a high D or low C. <laughs> a big fat F. No, we decided to go with a big fat, you know what. <laughs> D plus. Yeah, so Emil Pagliarulo really dropped the ball here. His quest direction here was... Alright, and all the puzzles that you have to solve for this quest is just BS. Alright, let's talk about the Stormcloak since you... Since we're talking about them so much. So, Stormcloak quest line! Yeah, second verse, same as the first. It's just the Imperial quest line with a little more flavor added to it. I'd say it's a D. <clears throat> there, there's really not much to say about the Stormcloaks that we that that Storm, is different from Stormcloaks is a D. Yeah, I would say it's a D. Um. <clears throat> okay, as I was talking to you before the stream, mm -hmm. you <clears throat> survived <clears throat> Alduin with them. You went through thick and thin with Ulfric himself. And then he's like, oh, I still do not care for your... Hold on. I still do not care for your uh, power. You need to prove yourself by killing some ice rays. To be fair, that was Galmar Barefist or whatever his name is. Yeah. Was. Uh, same voice actor as Grandpa Max from Ben 10, by the way. What? Yes. No shit. Uh, heck, I did not know that. Yes, it's just, dude, like, That's I, crazy. I, walk, I walk in, I'm like, Grandpa Max? <laughs> oh, that was a good show. Anyway, yeah, I'm giving Stormcloaks a, uh, I'm giving Stormcloaks a D. I'm giving them an F. Also, it's all for get Tom more assets. I don't, I think he's just an idiot. Not but... willingly, not willingly. He is, I think he is, but j not willingly. All right. I give it an F, he gives it a D. What what do you guys think? I say F. Everyone calls Stormcloaks racist until they play Morrowind. <laughs> true. True. Yeah. <clears throat> F for the Empire. This play for I'm a Dunmer. F. Alright, so we're getting a lot of Fs. So, oh, we got a D. <clears throat> That's true, Lonely Ocean. That my, I also thought that, yeah. Oh, people are saying, no, we get more Ds then. More than Fs. Alright, since it's mostly Ds... Uh, we'll give it a D. So, Im Imperials, Imperial, Imperials are lower, lower ranked than Stormcloaks. Interesting. <laughs> then we have Thieves Guild. Mercer. F. Yeah. F. The opening to the Thieves Guild is. A Thieves Guild representative walking up to you in broad daylight saying, Would you like to join the Thieves Guild today? <clears throat> oh. And in order to do it, you gotta frame a very nice Dunmer, who, by the way, if you frame before you do his side Bye, quest, Zenobia. you never get access to it. Yes. Um, and then the next, and then you proceed to beat the crap out of several shop owners. Mafia style. <laughs> and it's like, this is not what the Thieves Guild is. The Thieves Guild is about stealth and, 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 you know, cunning and deception. If I wanted to go punch people in the face for a quest line, I'd join a fighter's guild. 
Yeah, also they're like, we're not the Dark Brotherhood. And then it's just like, yeah, you get to kill people instead. Man, we're not all... the Dark Brotherhood. We just work with them very closely and help them in whatever way we can. We're not the Dark Brotherhood. <laughs> uh, we're not... <laughs> we should make, like... I'm probably gonna, like, if I'm gonna do a face reveal, it's like, we're the Thieves Guild. We pretend that we're not the Dark Brotherhood, but we're more the Dark Brotherhood than the Dark Brotherhood itself. Yeah. Also, to get to the freaking rat way... By the way, re write these down, Connor, write these down, because this is gonna serve for, like, a good thing for, like, um, Dagoth's video on the Thieves Guild. Also, what is... Oh, okay, Connor I'll... What is Carlia, like uh, the the descendant of Baron Zaya, doing in the, in the freaking thieves being a thief? Ah, uh, who knows? Oh man. yeah, I'm a nocturnal. I, 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 uh, oh right. I mean, people are gonna be like, but Zake, you can just level up your uh, what's it called? Uh, lock picking and uh, lock pick your way through. Uh, What's it called? Uh, Love put your way through like the game without, uh, without like needing the skeleton key. And you know what my response to this is, Connor? What? No one has the time to level up lock picking. I'd rather just uh, take the skeleton key. Yeah, y yeah. Uh, open everything. The fact that they make you give it back. That's that's dumb. Why not? Why shouldn't I keep it? My precious, no, <laughs> the nasty, the nasty nightingales. They want my precious key. My all precious I can think skeleton of is, um, key. All I can think of is that YouTube poop of Lord of the Rings. My precious, do not take me. Do not take me for your friend. I am trying to rob you. I'm 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 not trying to help you. I'm trying to rob you. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that was such a that was such a good one. Ah, <laughs> uh, so um, I say F tier. What did you guys say? Someone says use magic fire on beehive for extra bonus. <laughs> <clears throat> um. I say uh, F. He's called well. F. F. I'm on. Yeah, I'm on F. J. Victor remembers. It literally, it literally starts out. It literally starts out with, "No, this is not the thieves guild. This is the mafia." I'm sorry that you got your hopes up. Like, yeah, and this this is coming from the writer of the acclaimed series Th Thief. Hey, J. Victory is a fellow YouTube poop connoisseur. Ah, <laughs> welcome, brother. Welcome. That's like half my vocabulary is just quoting yep, YouTube poop. Yep, same. Sometimes, for the most part, yeah, no, like I, I, I quote them, and people don't get them. Especially like yeah. Master Poop has the best YouTube poops, in my opinion. Yeah, once, once I quote it, everybody looks at me like I'm going crazy. They're like, "What?" I'm like, don't worry about it. It's just a, it's just a habit at this point. They're like, yeah, but what did you mean? I'm like, it would take so, longer to explain to you than is worth it. Maven Bla Blackbriar is interesting enough for me to put it in C tier for me. Yeah, but we don't get much of Maven. Maven yeah. Blair herself is interesting. Maybe when we go to rank Yaro, oh. D DJ Degas did this, but I haven't ranked the Yaros yet. You know what? That might be a quick video that I can put out, ranking the Jarls. Yeah, that does sound like something that you could add to the channel. Yes. All right, but... Thieves Guild overall is F tier. Yeah, All right. Thieves um, Guild F tier. Before we go on to the... Voicard Vampires and Winterhold... Um, what do you think of the miscellaneous quests in Skyrim? Like, all of the, like, the standalone quests? Uh, in total? Aggregate, uh, yes. Uh, I don't know, maybe uh, a C. I would almost go with B. Uh. Really? I feel like the, the butcher quest, the, uh, you know... Some of the quests were too good, in my opinion. 
Like the butcher quest. Was, yeah. Was good. Yeah, no, they were pretty good. No one escapes in the mine. What else was there? That were good. Oh, uh, well, remember that vampire hunting one where everyone we had to assemble everybody to go hunt vampires in Mortal. Oh yeah, that one was neat. What else? And the murder mystery in in uh, Windhelm was pretty cool too. Yeah, that's the butcher. What yeah. else? Uh. I'm not sure. That's, those are the oh, only yeah, ones that are memorable to me. There's only two memorable quests. What was Rifton? What was in Rifton? Oh, well, that... you had uh, Armil's. Oh no, wait, that's that's why I run. Uh, you had the debt that you could pay oh, yeah, off. The white from needing the to find the uh, the red guard woman. Obviously, they got quests. All the miscellaneous quests on Dragonborn as well. Also, someone says the Red Guard. Do you remember, like, the Red Guard lady who is hiding on some Yeah, Sadia. Sadia, yes. That one was okay? Yeah, that was one was okay, except I'm disappointed that you never did get to learn who was the wrong and who was the right. Yeah, the fourth one cons conspiracy. Yeah, I already said no one escaped. A sin of mine. What else? Or what were the other hmm. quests? Yeah. I oh, don't Paul know. Creed had, had good ones, I think. What were the quests in Paul Creed? Not memorable enough to me to pull it out of, uh, at the top of my head. Um, uh, Connor, would you do me the favor and pull out the. Uh, saving the Grey Man guy? Meh. Can you pull up the list of uh, miscellaneous quests and let's go over them, just in case we missed anything? But this actually is is the is what what it sucks about Skyrim. S most quests are not memorable. They're just not. Am I not right? Yeah, you know you're right. <clears throat> yeah, there's not even that many quests in Falkreath. Uh, destroy Dengir's Risen Ancestor, do a favor by stealing an item, prove you are worthy of the title of Thane, create a house, Thane quests, uh... do a favor, do a favor, slay a bandit, prove you're worthy of Thane, build your own house, and deliver an item. What about Vitra? Ah, <clears throat> uh, let's see. We already did the Daedric. We already ranked the Daedric Yeah, I'm quest. skipping the Daedric parts. Uh, I would say... Okay, so for... For, <clears throat> for Whiterun, uh, there's great sword for a great man. You gotta deliver a sword <laughs> to Proventus. No wonder I don't remember uh, most of this. Do a favor by retrieving item in random ba bandit house. Elden Green Tree. Rich. Oh yeah, the Elder Green Tree was That's pretty good. good. Yeah, that was that one was a good one. I, I liked that, especially since you got the uh, they gave you an option to be in a, 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 a douchebag or not a douchebag. But what I about... assume douchebag is okay by YouTube standards, right? Yes. What pretty about sure it the... is. What about the uh, <laughs> um? So, what about like what was her uh, what was her name? The Mammon Task uh, lady. I keep forgetting her name. How can I forget her name? She's she's cool. Uh, who? Mammon Task. She wanted to tra trade with uh, with the Khajiit. Oh, that was uh, Isolda. Isolda, I think? yes. Yeah, Isolda. Oh God. How far have I fallen that I can remember the names of random NPCs that are not even important to the story? No, in because any way? You sold, you sold it was a meme. What does she need that mammon task for? <laughs> hey, hey, YouTube appropriate sake. Yes, the mammon task. I, that's what I only said. Mammoth task, that's it. Yes, ma mammoth task. 
<laughs> Undeniable dilemma. Ah, oh, lovely. My boyfriend has provided me with aspirin for my headache. Nice. Oh, okay, let's see. Alright, so... For miscellaneous, yeah, I think it's a hard C. Hard C? I think C. all the bad balances... But balances out by all the good. Hard C! Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Chat, do you agree or no? If you don't agree, I can put it, like, somewhere else. Chat! I heard, I saw some of you ranking it as S. If you haven't changed your opinion, write it down or forever hold your breath. Whatever is written in stone will not be changed. And you know, as you know, what the sad part is, as time goes on, these are all gonna be F tier. Like in twenty thirty one, twenty thirty four, when I'm like almost like forty, I'm, these quests are gonna be in F tier because they age so poorly. Hey, you know what's weird to think about? <clears throat> when we're old men, like 60, 70 year old men, we'll still be probably playing video games, which is a weird concept to think about because. Our grandfathers, depending on how old your your grandfather is, was like playing with, you know, hoop and stick games in the freaking nineteen thirties. <clears throat> so I never think about the fact that like, oh my gosh, when I'm old, <clears throat> I'll still be a video gamer. That's right. kind of weird. People are saying put the miscellaneous in B. By the way, yeah, that's weird. I yeah, agree. I, all right, I'll I'll. I'll uh... No, I, I disagree, chat, but you yeah, guys are too. the final arbiter. No, no, they're the final arbiter. If they choose, if they choose B, they chose B. Oh, you're in your early 50s. Good. I'm glad you're watching the channel. Ah, so, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. So, I assumed that most of wait. our... Uh... Holy moly. So when Morwen came out, he was my age. Oh, oh. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh. oh, I'm dying. Well, hopefully you, you I'm keep, old. Keep, keep consuming that content, man. Uh, I love to see the older generations getting into video games. games. Grandma Shirley, like, come on. She's the, just the sweetest little thing. All right, all right. Uh, we need to, we need to, um, uh, if Grandma Shirley goes before Elder Scrolls 6 comes out, Bethesda oh, God, I hope not. Bethesda is dumb. Uh, yeah. Bethesda yeah, is dumb. That would be really sad. That I'll, she never I'll got to experience here. the final game in the series, which well, I stand by that statement. Elder Scrolls Six will be the final one of the series. I don't think so. <clears throat> well, I guess we'll see in the next 40 years when they release Elder Scrolls Seven. Yeah, when Elder Scrolls Seven comes out, I'll be in my 50s. <laughs> you hope <laughs> we'll be lucky <clears throat> if it comes out that early alright now uh, this is a quick one vampire what is it I can't I can't read it okay vampire if if, if they have Emil Pagliarulo it will be just like the Netflix Avatar the last airbender series it it won't suck but it won't, it will be kind of underwhelming I <laughs> feel I feel okay. This is what I was talking about. I feel like our culture, as time goes on, it gets like filtered out and corporatized. It, yeah. It, it becomes fake plastic trees. Like yeah. It tastes uh, like nothing is good. I'm sorry, but like everything is like corporatized, normalized, and it's ca catered for normies. There's not that much niches right now, even though we have yeah, we're man, under the illusion of niches. To, to throw up a disclaimer, when we say normies, we don't mean it in a red pill kind of way. Yes. We're not, we're not, don't mistake the context, please. Yes. We're saying it as, like, the general phrase, not, not the red pill phrase. Yeah, the general phrase, yes. I need to be very clear about that. I'm like, by the way, just full disclosure, I'm against, uh, I'm against any pill, I think... Red pill, blue pill, or a white pill, whatever. Red pill, black pill, they're all BS. I feel like people who categorize I mean, people just, like that is just... Uh, yeah, it's just tribalism in a new form. Yes. But, but, that's not what this podcast is about. That's not what this... That has nothing to do with Elder Scrolls, so let's get back to the vampire. 
Um, I, although I would scroll, just, yeah, I'm like gonna go in there. <laughs> I, I feel like maybe a B. There are some pretty interesting vampire. Um, no, this is Voikar vampires. Yeah. The oh oh oh, I see. Yeah. No. Archon. Then still B. Still, still B. No, you know what? No, you know what? I'm gonna give it an A. It's they're better Actually, than the. They're better than the downguard you're saying. Oh yeah. Yeah, the vampire one's way more interesting. Yeah, they are, and the, the way they, the way you get to d destroy the down guard is also fun. Like you get some high, uh, some high ranking target, and like when you kill Nazim, it says the target is not high profile. Yeah, didn't that happen to Naya? Yeah, that did. That did happen to Naya. Also, if you're watching Naya, hey Naya. Hello. Yeah. She's a longtime supporter of the channel. Very sweet, very and sweet Patreon. person. Yes. By the way, guys, if you like to support this channel, uh, like, subscribe, write your thoughts in the chat down below, smash that like button, and also, if you're able to, donate. But that's not necessary. <laughs> Anyhow, vampires go to A tier. I would say they're B, B tier. What? They're not that good. B tier? I mean, I'm not saying they're like an A+, plus, but they're better than a B. Chat, what do you think? The van the Look, th remember that B is also the Dark Brotherhood quest. Do you really think the Vampire quest was equal to or less than the Dark Brotherhood? Ooh. Just saying. I'm just spitting facts. All right, chat. So also the shape trip form is ugly and impractical. You know what? Oh yeah, no, we're not, we're not, we're not basing it off of the rewards. We're basing it off of story. If we were basing it off rewards, this list would look completely different. Oh right, Thieves, but, Thieves but, Guild would be an S tier just for the fact that you can have the skeleton key for the rest of the game. By the way, that's actually a good video idea. Thank you. Faction rewards. <laughs> Dega Third discusses faction rewards. That's a good one, actually, yeah. Yeah, 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 oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. man! Yeah. That's a good one. I don't think I've seen that one done yet. If, if any Degas channel is watching, if you dare steal that concept from me, my precious, my precious concept will not be stolen. My precious. Yeah, Can companions get an F it was, if it was rewards, yeah. Hard agree, hard agree. <laughs> All right. Uh, so the vamp vampires. What do you guys think? It looks like everybody seems to be picking B. There's only two A's in the chat. Hmm. I'm sorry, Connor. But uh, yeah, you gotta you gotta put it where the where the rolls happen. Cows of Winter Hall. Where where is the where is the 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 tier under F that's just that's just it's so bad it's so bad it's not even in the chart. Of course, it's a higher Winterhold, Potter, The huh? quest of Winterhold is so, and even if it wasn't, even if it wasn't a Harry Potter ripoff, it's still just lazy. It doesn't it doesn't do anything, and the characters are dumb. Uh, victory. Yeah, yeah. He, we, the channel has a Patreon. Yes. Um. Yeah, like, uh, yeah. The Eye of Magnus aspect was all right, but then they didn't explain it in any of the, like, in any of the lore. They didn't like, they didn't like expound upon. It. Like, at least give us like a taste of what it possibly could be. Like, I've heard that. It was from the seventh era, um, and they sent it back in time because they are in space and shit now. Is Sorry, it the seventh era. Sorry. Yeah, I think it was the seventh era. Is the uh, is the claim the same era that that Pelinol was allegedly from because he was allegedly a cyborg who allegedly came from the future, allegedly. <clears throat> Yeah, so what, what I don't know that I put much stock in that. Um assuming the narrators are recording the story properly, he did shout out Raymond Cyrodiil's name in battle, which is like 500 years before Raymond was even born. 
So he clearly knew something about the future, but I don't think that necessarily means that he's a cyborg. Yeah, I agree. No, like, so it's Seventh Era... So the Ser Seventh Era Eye of Magnus was sent back, and, like, we didn't get any lore, anything else. Also, I'm kind of being Voldemort Snape Umbridge. By the way, people were like, oh, he's mean. That's why you think he's, like, Snape or Vol... No, he's literally, like, even, like, he's... You can see patterns of him drawn as Snape. So I'm not the only yeah. one who made that connection. Oh, yeah, and the way, like, what's it called? The Archmage dies. <laughs> um, is yeah. like Dumbledore. Also, you, if you, like, roll high enough on speech check, you can actually, what's it called, get into the building, the the Mages Guild, without, without like, uh, the, the College of Winterhold, without, like, casting a single spell. <laughs> Like, how can you get into the College of Winterhold without casting a single spell? Like, you already addressed this, Connor, but, like... Yeah. Yeah, also... Emil, Emil Papachucci has CV, uh, C, CW level of writing skills, I agree. <laughs> Papa Pucci, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Which, we'll be discussing him, but... What, what do you think? What do you think of Winterhold? No, I, I was serious. It shouldn't even be on the chart. It, it should be below a fail. If if I could make it go into, uh, like like if if I don't know, I just fail, 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 fail in every way. Like this is actually if oh, from all the uh, if we compare all of the uh, all of the like mages guild quests, you know what could be really interesting. Also ranking different factions as compared to. Uh, compared to, like, uh, the patterns in the previous games? Oh, if you could help me... I could do that as a video. I just need a little help with script writing. Yes, yes. But I definitely have some thoughts on comparisons, side-by-side -side comparisons, because I've played it a large, large, large amount of Oblivion, and I've played a large, large, large amount of Skyrim, and a large, large, large amount of Morrowind. Well, maybe just two larges that time. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Um... But I, I've gotten the gist of what each three offers, and yeah, I could definitely critique each one. Like, for example, Mages Guilds and all, uh, ranking all Mages Guilds across... Mages Guild here. and Morrowind. Mages, Skrill, Mages Guild and Morrowind was kind of weird, um, because half the quests, they're just like, go murder this other guy who's practicing magic without our permission. And it's like, Oi, mate, do you have a license for that yeah, magic? Yeah, do you have a license for that magic? <laughs> I wonder why they became... the. Oh, yeah, we forgot. The most egregious part of Skyrim is, like, uh, literally, like, uh, uh, what is it called? Uh, the Dunmer going from... Like, the up. very first... The oh, very Dunmer. first quest for the Mages Guild is... There's a guy in the in the in the bar at the corner. He's an Argonian who's teaching people magic. Go stop him in any no. way needed, including death. No. Uh, like, if I walked into a freaking mages guild and they're like, "Go kill that guy," no. I'd be like, I have blight in my throat. I have corpus in my throat." Uh, that's what's more of a dark house. The the dark house in in uh, in. Um... Can I help you, Sarah? Yes. Oh and man, then, then the, dude, that's uh, pretty good. Ooh, uh, die, fetcher. Dude, that is very good. Uh, and then you have like, what's it called? The uh, the. Uh, I hate that they removed that voice. But I loved hearing the the like you sweat. And you, I'm and watching what? you, Outlander. <laughs> And then in in uh, Oblivion, it was like uh, <laughs> that, that voice doesn't Hello. actually hurt hurt as much as I thought it would. It's actually kind of it's kind of it's kind of comfortable actually. That's funny. <laughs> oh man, you should you should host that. We should host a whole whole uh, like whole podcast like that at some point. 
Oh, good lord! Yeah, I'll try. I don't know how long I can do it, but I, I can definitely. No, no, you know, you know, you know, what I'm, you know what I'm gonna... I will try, Seda. I will try. <laughs> if you like this voice, like and subscribe, and do all your thingamajig in the chat below. Yeah, comment in the video after it ends to rate my Dunmer impression, and please be <laughs> gentle. I cry easily. Making you cry. Every uh, yeah, um, and if and if anybody comments, it actually was really good. Are you a smoker? No, actually, I'm not. By the way, uh, Sam says that's some good freaking voice acting. Mm -hmm. Okay, 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 and then um, all right, and then you um have what's the thing called? Uh, oblivion oh, um, dark elves that go like hello well it's like the american night yeah yeah can you do that one hold on that was it oh, which one the the dumber accent in no it can't be in oblivion yeah they just they just it's just like, american I get... I get using only six voice actors. Like, fair enough. It's expensive. You know, it was it was a, a breaking ground game, so it didn't have much like momentum at the beginning. So you can't really afford to do all that crap. But at least like tell them like like if they're at least make it so that if they're voicing a high elf, they use an accent, or when they're voicing a dark elf, they get a little gravity gra gravelly. Mm. You know, if they're basing a, if they're if they're voicing a wood elf, make it a little more bouncy, a little more flamboyant. Like, yeah, the, the orcs have done that. The orcs had an accent that was all, all distinct. Hmm. <laughs> flamboyant for for Bosmer. <laughs> Anyhow, um, uh, where was that? Uh, F or below. Yeah, no, before I rank this, and, like, uh, this is where I was getting to. In Skyrim, the Donmer speech was just like, Hello, governor, do you have license for this? Imagine if Morrowind was like that. I don't think Morrowind would yeah, have succeeded. Yeah, they had a weird, like, mix of Australian and uh, London accent for some reason. I remember that. I was like, uh, you know, when I you, think when the you red, like... the red here definitely did something. Instead of making their voice grovelly, like the the the, 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 they're like, <laughs> just be Southern British. Just talk like a Southern Brit. No, Vivek disappears. Hello, mate. How's your day going? Vivek exists. Come, Sarah. Vivek I can't disappears. say what they actually say to each other because the c word is banned on YouTube. But <laughs> let's let's just. Yeah, a yeah. while I've heard a lot of Australians just greet them each other with "Good day, seaweed." Yes. Yeah. Good day, seaweed. Seaweed. <laughs> Steward. Good morning, seaweed. I, I right. can't say it on. I can't say it because YouTube loves yeah. to censor freaking curses Everything. because they don't know how to implement a proper kids section. All right, so um, F tier for yeah, College of Winter Winterhold. Yeah, definitely F tier. Is C word the most stupid word? Yes. Yes. Uh, it's his cousin. All right, so on a separate screen, I'm going to go on uh, Reddit. And we're going to, uh, and before someone goes like, no, Reddit! I'm just looking, uh, don't worry, guys. I'm just looking up Emil Pagli Pagliaccio's. Um... All right, so do you see this on the screen, Connor, for you? I do. Emil Pagliarulo. <clears throat> can, can, you read, can you actually read this in a... Hmm. Okay, chat, choose race, uh, the race of the character, or like a character from oh. the Elder Scrolls series for this to be voiced. Oh, God, so you're going to try to make, all right, I mean, all right. Please. No, yeah, I'm willing to do it, I just, I don't know that it's going to sound amazing. <clears throat> Dunmer, Imperial, Orc. Oh, boy. 
Imperial? What is like what is Imperial other than kind of loud English? You I've seen you. You, you are, are the one from my dreams. RIP vocal cords. Oh, Lucian Lachance! <laughs> oh, I don't know if I can... Listen, I can do a lot of accents, but I don't know if I can even get close to the god that is Wes Johnson. Mm, oh, goodness. man. That... Oh, that... Maybe, maybe Cicero. <laughs> Slash people on the internet. I mean, poor, poor Cicero. <laughs> poor, poor Cicero. <laughs> he wants to talk to the night mother, but he cannot. He is not her listener. <laughs> but you, you are her listener. <laughs> oh boy, dude, that's great. Oh uh. man, that's great. <laughs> okay, um, uh, let me uh. let me quickly get the background music going because it disappeared again. Are you Parthenax? You're throwing me curveballs here. How am I gonna outdo Mario? How am I gonna outdo Mario? Wait, is is Mario f uh, voicing Parthenax? Yes, the voice actor for Mario is the same one that voiced Parthenax. Interesting. Let me see. Hold on. <clears throat> Rem, you look. I greet thee. Eh. Dude, not, not bad. No, no. Not bad. No, it's, yeah, but it's not good enough. Uh, hold on. Moral wins music. The next. Yahoo! Yahoo! And then, no, Parthenax jumps real hard on the very edge of the of the mountain at the bottom. And he's just like, "What? Ha! Yahoo!" And just like freaking slides right up. That, that was always the funniest thing with the stairs. So someone the says, so correct, me, speed run. "So correct me if I'm wrong." Emil believes that he's he has to be praised because he's a writer, even if his product is so subpar. Well, Zake, credit to Zake, who showed me this channel, but there was a, a video that explained it quite well. Emil got, okay, the long and the short of it is, Starfield made a bunch of money, record-breaking money for Bethesda. So everybody in the Bethesda was like, oh, Emil, you did it, you, you, made, you made the most successful game. But all the players were like, this game is bad. So he couldn't recognize that, oh, it's it was popular because you guys have been waiting for 11 years for Bethesda to make another game, and so you bought it on instinct. Instead, he doubled down, and it's like, no, actually, I'm the greatest game designer of all time, and you can't correct me because you don't have a degree. By the way, we have to make a part two of this since people really like the, these sort of streams, like where we actually watch his speech and analyze it about writing. Oh, yeah. 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 So, um, today's... Uh, so, how about this? Uh, maybe we touch upon, upon it a little bit and save this for a much more... Yeah, we're gonna... Uh, we'll, we'll pause. We'll pause here, but I will say Lonely Ocean, I disagree. Freelancer did it better, and it was released in 2002. Its ship flying in combat was far superior to Starfield's. I will die also, on that hill. Also, they wanted to make a, a, a Bethesda star game with Emil Kirkbride. And, uh, <laughs> no! No! What have I done? I meant <laughs> Emil Kirkbride. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> the insanity of Kirkbride with the incompetence of Emil... No! That would be... That's a monster right there. What have you done? Hey, Zake and Zach, get my question. What was Elective Toast? What was your question? Why were you muted? Well, and also, hello. Oh, reasons to I hate. I am not Zach. I am Connor. <laughs> Reason, reasons to hate orcs. When? Soon. Very soon. Don't worry. All right. So let's just go over. Like, let's let's get the taste of this. 
out, and then well, we'll... Why don't you get a ge you give a general overview, just a quick little little quib, and then we'll we'll pick this up next week with the with the Twitter. You don't wanna you don't wanna read this whole thing. <laughs> All Not right, right now I got I got uh, some plans coming up soon. Alrighty, in that case, the quick thing. Um, instead of admitting his mistakes and improving, Emil Pagliaccio, Pagaruccio, Pagliano, Pagagaloccio, paramedic, um, the, this decided paramedic, to, Emil Paramedic, decided to, um, say that he's the greatest writer in the world, and people started pointing out how bad his writing is, like, for example, the Dark Brotherhood, it's not a bad quest line. In Oblivion, it's pretty good. But because oh, yeah, he started, Oblivion, like, it, it's absolutely saying... the best quest line in Oblivion. But Hands because down. he was saying that uh, he's writing superior, people started pointing out the issues in his writing. This is like the... Um... <clears throat> yeah, even though in 2006 his writing uh, had, like, holes in it, it was still good. Like, for example, what what movie can't you say that had a lot of potholes, but you still enjoyed it, Connor? Um, oh, uh... Really popular. I don't know. I mean, let's... I can tell you a show that has a bunch of plot, yes. plot holes. That, okay, Doctor Who. Yeah, Doctor Who has a lot of plot holes, but it used to be enjoyable. Used to be. I'm not going to get into that. Um, no, well, no, I will. I am, actually. Uh, if you're watching Chibnall, which you're not because you're a famous man who is not into d and I mean, um, Elder Scrolls at all, you are the worst, and that's it. All I have to say is I hope, hope that Davies fixes what you broke, because you're, you were, you were not meant to be a lead, uh, a head writer, my friend, I'm sorry. Anyway, go ahead. Yeah, he does. I have very strong opinions about Obliv I mean, uh, Doctor Who. Yeah, uh, I agree with Manga Lad. I do remember how, um, uh, what's it called? I do agree how he's like saying, oh, back in the day, I wrote like the best Thief Quest. I wrote the best. Doc yeah, maybe he was great at some point, but he got corporate whitewashed. And. <laughs> yeah. And, like, completely dumbed down, became lukewarm. Very bad writing. And then and then people started even pointing out problems in his good writing. And he started, like, falling apart. Oh, no! My writing! How dare they <laughs> criticize my writing! I'm like, dude, just say yes. I messed up. I'll be better next time. You... you it's really... It's not that... You know, it's not... But you know how he, he tries to portray himself as like this not really toxic person or something like that, right? But you know what's really toxic in my opinion? Is like keeping, like saying, gaslighting people into saying like, oh yeah, no, my writing is good, you're, you're all wrong. Like well, you could be like... You use the, whenever you use the logical fallacy, I don't think it's officially named, I would call it the fallacy of the fallacy of education just because someone doesn't have a degree in a field does not mean they do not know an equal amount or more of someone who has a degree in the field experience work can often be a lot more useful than book learning specifically for things of the trade area electrician mechanic things like that <clears throat> I could tell you guys stories of, you know, fresh college graduates who have a degree in mechanical engineering and they go to work on a car and they say, well, you need to do this, this, this. And the mechanic of 35 years turns to them and so that that's not going to work because of X, Y, Z. Yeah, well, I went to college, so, you know, just do it. Yeah, that's one yeah. thing. And the other thing is that, you, you know, Emil's like, Funny how disconnected some players are from the reality of game development, yet speak with complete authority. I mean, I can guess what it takes to be a hostess Twinkie, but I don't work in the factory, so what the hell do you really know? Not a lot. Oh, you know? Do I really know? Not a lot. Hey, Emil, if you're watching, 
Let me tell you one thing. I might not know about game development, but I got two master's degrees in, like, uh, literature, and I have a degree in creative writing, so you've met your match. This doesn't, <laughs> doesn't go with me. This does not work on me. Yeah. And... Yep. I will... I can even get some creative writers to analyze his writing and just to, like, absolutely thrash it. That, that, that's not what we were doing. We were just saying, hey... We don't like Starfield. We are allowed to have an opinion. Yeah, and and the fact of the matter is, uh, <laughs> the fact of the matter is, oh, he was responsible for not, World seventy seven. The game is not. Uh, critics are not relevant to whether a game is successful. Players are the relevant factor. If every critic on the planet says this game is the greatest game ever made and 80% of the players say this game sucked. Well, I can tell you right now, in fact, you can take this to the bank. That game is likely going to suck. Like yeah. critics are irrelevant when it comes to subjective taste and video games are incredibly subjective. That is true. Yes, and um like, Bethesda used the same freaking engine. Also, like, he says game development. Bro my brother in Christ. <laughs> you have used the same freaking engine since 2002. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's yeah. a new and improved word. No, no. They just improved upon all the their old engines, added a few things, but... You can tell that engine just limits the whole thing. Like, they need to, like, start from scratch and use a different engine, man. Like, yeah, I do, like, keep the charm of the old engine, but, like, use the new one. Come on. Like, and there's, like, he, he could have just said, like, hey, uh, what's it called? Game development depends really on the engine. Our, our engine is limited, so that's my writing was also limited. All right, we're going to have to pause here before you give up too much away and we don't have a topic for next freaking yes, podcast. Yes, no, we'll have, we'll have a lot to talk about. All right, guys, if you hate Emil Pagliaccio, Pagliaccio. Pag wait a minute, wait a minute. If you hate Emil Pagliarulo, don't. He, you know, he's he's yes. not an asshole. He's just If you hate his writing, misguided. yes. Sorry. Yeah, I there you go. Either. If you hate either. his work. Yeah, I know, I know. I just wanted to clarify just in case, uh, you know this video ever gets sent to him specifically <laughs> we don't hate you emil pagliarulo we just don't agree with your takes yes we don't agree with your takes and your writing but you're a good guy sorry about that uh <laughs> but guys if you don't like emil pagliarulo's uh, writings please Please uh, like the stream, donate, uh, write, uh, write in the chat, uh, the different names of Emil. After this uh, stream is over, also you can write different, uh, his different names underneath the comment section. Yes, come up with the best name. By next podcast, we will take a screenshot of the person who came up with the best parody name for Emil Pagliarulo. Pagalucho, You have six days, and don't put it in the live chat right now. Put it in the comments, and we will we will send a screen. We will put up a screenshot, yes. and we will let you know that your voice was heard and read. Yep. All right. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye bye. See you guys.